Hello crafters and welcome to this week's From Picture to Page and Beyond Paper Craft Show update. I'm Michelle Brown, Creative Director from Picture to Page and we're nurturing your creativity with in-person and online events. Now this week's update, we've got a dash of inspiration, we've got Crafternoon Show news, we've got lots going on around the Sandown Show coming up in October. We're going to talk a bit about what's going on at the Paper Craft Posse and what's going on at the Train and Hobby Show for next year. Now, whether you're watching us here live on Facebook or watching a replay on Facebook or YouTube, I would love to know that you're there. So pop in the comments, say hello, just like Carol has. It's a great place to ask any questions, to let me know that you're there, and of course, continue to be part of our crafting community. Now, this week's Dash of Inspiration, I'd like to challenge you to use a colour or a colour palette that you don't usually use. Now this last weekend I was playing around with one of my daily dyes and decided I really hadn't used yellow very much. It's spring in theory here in Australia, although in Melbourne I think it's a little bit long in coming. And yellow is a colour that I don't use very often. I guess for pens and markers it tends to be not bright enough, sometimes hard to see or read. But that doesn't mean that we don't need to use the yellow paints and inks and other things. So here is something that I created. Let's see if I can figure out how to share it with you. So this is the art journaling page that I did. We started off with yellow paints. I added in a little bit of orange and red. You can see some mark making there, some stamping, some transfers. I then had lots of fun adding these gorgeous transfers. So a beautiful big butterfly, which is mostly orange, but tied in really well with those yellows. And then I also had a flower as well. So you can see I've added some splashes there I've added some doodling and that was just so much fun to put together something in a color palette that I wouldn't usually use so I'd love to challenge you for the dash of inspiration this week is to use a color or a color palette that you don't usually use and then share it with us in the paper craft posse show us what you've come up with now the Peter P craft Sandown craft show is not far away at all it's just over four weeks it's on the 13th 14th and 15th of October at Sandown Raceway in Melbourne Australia and it is turning out to be a fantastic show a really good lineup I've already got 24 companies well and truly booked in plus about another five or six that we're still in discussions with the good news is that tickets go on sale and that all the announcements the retailers will be announced on this Friday but you need to be on our email list so if you're not head over to our website from pitch to page and beyond.com.au scroll down the bottom pop in your name and your email address and then you can get all the retailers information up to date you'll be getting the um, downloaded to-do list so that you'll have that heading into the show and of course the email list is where all the special offers get sent first so as I said we've got 24 companies currently locked in. Between them, they're offering nearly 20 classes of make and take. So there's going to be so much to do across that weekend. And the tickets will go on sale on Friday. There'll be one, two, and three day passes available. Buy them online, or of course, you can buy them at the door. FPOS and cash is available. So, yes, we will release them to our email list on Friday. They'll go out through socials over the weekend and then next Monday we will be here together to go through the entire list of who's going to be there, who are our new exhibitors, who are some of our favourites coming back and what they are offering. It really is going to be such a fantastic lineup and I can't wait to share that all with you. Now of course that weekend is also the weekend of the federal referendum so we will make sure we're sharing all sorts of information about that so you can vote. Now if you are eligible for early voting that'll be open from Monday the 2nd of October. So the good news is while voting is compulsory to those who are registered to vote in Australia there are quite a few different options and if you're eligible and meet those criteria which are clearly listed on the, um, the Australian Voting Commission Electoral Commission, AEC's website, then you can vote early from Monday the 2nd or I think Tuesday the 3rd of October because some places do have a public holiday. But again, we'll share all that information and we are running the show for three days, the Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So there'll be plenty of time to come to the show to get all your classes done and to get your voting done as well. Now, the other exciting thing that we have in the works is, of course, we're coming back with the Makers Arts and Crafts section at the Train and Hobby Show. Now, that's in March next year on the 16th and 17th and it's going to be the most amazing lineup you're really going to have to get the whole family ready to come along not only is there going to be crafting and arts and makers things there's going to be drones there's going to be a flying exhibition there's all sorts of 
trains and scales and remote control things and home automation and trading cards and there's going to be some sort of a trading card competition and I'm really looking forward to bringing you all that information too. We're meeting every fortnight and there's lots going on so we will certainly keep you up to date with that. Now our paper craft posse, we can't wait to catch up with some of you on Saturday. It is our paper craft posse craftoon that's being held in Mount Waverley. Now I've got a room for a couple more crafters so if you're after some information or to grab your tickets, head over to our website from picture to page and beyond.com.au. Scroll down the bottom and click on the papercraft posse tag, and that'll take you to our page where it gives you all the information of where you're going to be. It's a great day to bring your own craft, bring your own lunch. We'll have morning and afternoon tea supplies, and we can guarantee some fantastic catch ups, some meeting with like minded people. We can help you out with projects, or you can just come and sit and chat. And it is a lovely way to meet people before we head into the show. So we're so looking forward to seeing so many of you there at the Craftanoon. And this week, oh, we've had some lovely shares. Julie shared a gorgeous card that she had a flower on that had some stitching in it, which was really lovely. I shared the art journal page that I just shared with you earlier. Tracy has done the most amazing 3D market flower cart, and she's actually got a video of it. As it goes around, you can see which bits have all metallic -y. And also, I was asking for input about those who do the classes and the make and takes, the paper craft show, and what your preference is. So the paper craft posse really is the place to come along, to get in touch with retailers, to catch up with like-minded people, to share what you're working on, and then really have that place where we can come and get information and learn, because it is all about a community. So that is it for this week's update. Dash of inspiration, choose a colour that you don't normally use and challenge yourself to use it. See how that goes and then share it in the paper craft posse. Our craftoon is coming up on Saturday the 16th of September and I can't wait to see many of you there. We do have a spot for a few more. The Sand Down from Picture to Page Paper Craft Show, which is our biggest show in Victoria for the whole year, is heading to Sand Down on Friday the 13th, Saturday the 14th and Sunday 15th of October. Retailers will be announced this Friday to our email address and then we'll be back right here in this very same spot to run through who's going to be there, who's new, who's doing classes, who's doing demos, who's doing make and takes. It just really is going to be such a fantastic lineup. And we are also planning to be at the Train and Hobby Show next March, also at the Sandown Raceway. So if you do have any questions, pop them here in the comments. Of course, reach out through Facebook or through our website. We really do look forward to hearing you. So this is Michelle signing off. I hope you have a crafty day.